these nurses have, um, you know, miraculously faced this with courageous smiles. And, you know, despite being very, you know, fearful in the beginning, you would watch them and they would take this like really big, like deep breath and they would go into the room and then they would connect with these patients and families and they would see, you know, their fear and say, it's okay, I'm here, I've got you and I'll be brave enough for all of us. Because children's immune systems often work a little bit differently than adults, we don't know for sure uh, how effective the vaccines would be or if they should get a different dose, for instance. So until we have more trial information to inform those recommendations, unfortunately, these vaccines won't be recommended for children you know, with the exception of Pfizer down to age 16. way back in February when we were just learning about COVID, I think we were learning that fever is, is a hallmark uh, symptom. And I think that's true in adults, but in kids, we're actually seeing lots of kids that don't have fever. Um, they just might have congestion, sore throat, a little diarrhea, a little vomiting. So it's really almost a kid with any type of infectious symptoms, we have to suspect that they could be COVID, especially at this time when prevalence in our area is so high. The thing that we worry about the most is sort of this um, post-infectious uh, multi-system inflammatory syndrome where you're worried about, and that comes usually a week to several weeks after they were actually diagnosed and had the initial illness. And those kids can get sick very quickly. Um, usually they have very high fevers um, and a lot of them have abdominal pain. Um, and so I think if your child is having very high fevers with abdominal pain, you should reach out to your pediatrician so that you can discuss that. Really talking to them a lot about wearing a mask, social distancing while they're in school is some of the most important things that we do. Um, and, you know, I think each school district is a little bit different and is trying to, to um, figure out how to keep schools open and how to educate kids the best they can. And our job should be to try and make it as safe as we can. We underestimate the resiliency and adaptability of children. And um, I, I've heard a lot of people say, well, well, they can't possibly wear one all day at school. And the fact of the matter is, is they can. It's just not a big deal. It really isn't. Um, and I think that we can take that as a lesson from our children as adults that we can, um, there are lots of really easy things that we can do to keep our friends and family and neighbors safe